Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain that how you can achieve your uh, different row and column span with your CMS uh, grid, with your dynamic grid. So all the data is coming from, uh, you can see all the data is coming from the CMS, how you can achieve this result. It's very simple. If you want that your item will be in different row spans or row spans will be according to the size of the image, you can achieve this simply by uh, selecting your collection list wrapper and then in the typography, uh, in the setting right side uh, uh, under the setting under the typography uh, typography option you just uh, go to the uh, typography more type option and here is the option of column just set it to three or how many columns you want you set it four or set it two or set it three as per your required design as it my required design i want all of my items to be arranged in three columns by setting this uh, simply uh, and here uh, here no flex no grid just set it to the simply display so after setting it display and after setting from here from the three it will be uh, it will automatically divide into three columns and all the elements will be uh, uh, set as per their required size or as per their size so are they arrange uh, themselves according to their size so um, I arrange my CMS dynamic rate like this uh, in three columns and uh, uh, after uh, the three columns the row span will be dependent upon the size of the image so uh, that's all in case of the row span and if you want the same uh, thing uh, in, uh, in the way of uh, um, in the top of column like uh, here if you want that uh, your image or your uh, first of your uh, dynamic list item first of your uh, dynamic item must uh, span over the two columns then over the one column then a one column then two column and so on uh, you want the, this different column span size so again it's very simple uh, uh, back to the designer way here uh, you just uh, uh, add simple paragraph with the name of column span size uh, let display it uh, uh, now this is C uh, I want this image to, uh, to span across the two column. I want this image to span across one column. Again, this I want to span across one column. And this image I want to span across two columns. So simply this uh, span size is coming from the CMS. I don't want to display it here. So I I'm going to hide it. So this is not step number one. Step number two is that just embed this code. I will provide this code in my description box. Be careful about the name of classes. Uh, first, uh, first is the collection item class. Uh, it's uh, the name of that uh, your collection item. Uh, so it's the name of uh, your collection item class. So be careful about that. And the second one is the simple paragraph that I uh, that is getting data from the uh, CMS like two, one, and so on. So get this column span size from the CMS. Be careful about these two names and then copy paste this uh, code in your uh, in embedded form and paste it here. The third step, so the step number one is uh, just uh, uh, take a paragraph and uh, which uh, with the name of column space size and it's that is coming from the CMS. Uh, step number two is this embedded code and step number three is simple one line code in your head tag. So I will, provi I will provide this both uh, head tag code and this embedded code in my description box. You can copy paste it from here and you can implement it in your project. So the last step is that you just uh, copy paste this one line in your head tag and that's all done. Now I'm going to publish it and after publishing, let's see the results that how it will display. So here it is. You can see that it's span over the two, span over the one, span over the one, span over two and so on. So uh, basically in this uh, lecture, I covered the two things. Uh, if you want the span like this, that uh, the row span uh, as per the image uh, size uh, with different column uh, uh, I just arrange the column by by arranging the three you can arrange it in two four and so on and the row will be uh, arranged uh, as per the size of uh, images coming from the uh, dynamic CS and then in the second way I think uh, I explained that how you can span out the different columns how you can span your image how you can space your out over the different columns in your dynamic list so uh, hope you like the concept hope you like the video it's very simple concept uh, Please do share and subscribe my channel as I'm getting the views day by day, but I'm not getting the subscribers. So it's a humble request to subscribe my channel. That's all my that's all from my side. Thank you.